Do you want to know how to do law by mic transitions? It's actually a lot easier than you think. Even a monkey can do it. Watch this video and I'll show you how. Hey, you made it, you guys. So if you saw the intro, you might be thinking, these transitions are pretty hard. Or if you watch any of Law by Mike stuff, you might be thinking it's a lot harder. But in fact, I'm here to tell you it's not hard at all. A monkey can do it, and I really meant that when I said it in the beginning of the video. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to do the transitions that not only the ones we did in this video, but some other ones that Law by Mike does that we didn't show in the intro. So let's get to it. Fundamentally, what you guys need to understand about the transitions is how you end the transition is how you need to start the next one. So one of the most common transitions that Law by Mike does is pull from white, black, or any color. So in this instance, we'll pull from black and then we'll even go towards black. Let me show you how that looks. So we have him here. Let's say I want to pull from black. We can pull from anything. I can use my hand or his shirt, his head, his hand even, but let's just keep it simple. I'll just pull away from his shirt. Let me show you how this looks and then we'll get into the next transition. So we start from a pure black shot We'll pull out, have him do his spiel, and then we'll push back into a pure black shot. Ready? Boom. Mike speaks for a moment. We get a few moments and then boom. And that's all you really need to do for the matching black, white, or any color transition. All right, and the second basic transition that Law by Mike does is what I like to call the whip. And simply the whip is any sort of fast movement in any direction. It could be up, down, left, right, even some sort of diagonal or twist, doesn't really matter. As long as you keep that movement going into your next shot, going back to the fundamentals of transition matching. So let me show you how that's gonna look. We'll start with a whip to right, and then we'll whip up at the end. We'll start by very far, and I'll whip into frame to Mateo. We'll have him in shot for his one or two words, and then he'll whip me up either with his hands or without anything. You can do whatever. You can get as creative or not creative as you'd like. All right, let's do it. Ready? Action. One or two words and boom. And now what you're gonna wanna do in post is make sure that in the next shot, you keep that motion. So since we ended on a whip up, we need to start the next shot with a whip up, technically. It doesn't always have to be that way. You can actually start with a whip right. It just might seem a little disorienting, but use that to your advantage or disadvantage. All right, and for the third most common law by mic transition, it's something known as the matching shot. All a matching shot is the last frame of the previous shot matches the first frame of the next shot, which is similar to what we fundamentally understand about all these transitions but it's a little bit different here because he usually likes to do it on a certain action. You might notice he likes to do it either when he jumps or when he's sitting down. So let me show you how you can do that. So for this example, we're gonna keep it simple. We're gonna use a snap as the motion to match from the previous shot to our new location. So Mateo, hold up your thumb right there. Perfect, recording, snap. And then we would go to our new location and we'll do the same thing. So actually, let's just reverse spots. All right, now I want you to do that same snap, put it up to frame a little bit to your left, or my left, sorry, <laughs> stupid. Right there. And on the count of three, snap. One, two, perfect. And now all you really need to do is in post. And I can show you that right now. All right, here we are in Adobe Premiere. I have all the clips I'm going to use to line up. And the starting clip actually is a fade from black, so we'll play that right now. Do you want to know how to do law by mic transitions? And it dips right back to black. So we want to go to the last frame here, which is right here, it's full black. And we'll just align it so that this next clip is on full black, which is pretty much is, so I cut here. And then we're gonna check out this one, this clip. It's actually a lot easier than you think. Even a monkey can do it. Boom. And what you wanna do for the whip transitions is once again, cut on motion. So I like to go where the blurriest frame is and it looks like this one is. And I'll delete everything here. 
And then this next clip, uh, I started from black, but I'm going to do just a whip. So we'll start from here, where it's also very heavy on motion blur. And we'll cut everything previous and then align the two clips. And then let's play that one. Watch this video and I'll show you how. Boom. And now it's full black. That was actually perfect lucky. I'll just delete everything from the right like that. And then align it to this new clip that is also full black. And that's it. And now if we actually play from the beginning, we shall see how our transitions align. Do you want to know how to do law by mic transitions? It's actually a lot easier than you think. Even a monkey can do it. Watch this video and I'll show you how. Hey, you may and as you can see, it really is that easy. What you can do to add some depth, which I'll do right now, is to add some whoosh sound effects or some sort of motion sound effects. So I like whooshes because it kind of mimics the, the feeling of motion. So there's one. I like to go right to the frame when movement starts and I'll add my sound effect. And this one, maybe I'll do like a punching sound effect. Uh, I don't think I have it here, do I? Yeah, I do. All right, and let's play it again from the top and see how it sounds. Do you want to know how to do law by mic transitions? It's actually a lot easier than you think. Even a monkey can do it. Watch this video and I'll show you how. Hey. So something I can do to make this even tighter is to actually speed ramp. But uh, I'll do that a separate time because I think that's all you really need to know so that you can actually perform and edit these transitions. So we'll cut back to the end of the video. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys got some value from this. Hopefully it demystified the law by mic transition era that we're in right now. I personally get a lot of inspiration from this guy's content. His team is super creative. I just showed you the basics, but you can really take this to any lengths. And if you watch their videos, you might see how creative they get, even with just these fundamentals. So if you like the video, please leave me a like, comment your thoughts down below. And if you want more videography and entrepreneur videos, subscribe to the channel because that's what I'm going to be doing. Thank you so much again, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.